Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. Have you been wondering how to use the new year at a glance pages from the Happy Planner? They look like this. There's one line for each day of the year and there's so many different ways you can use them. So I'm gonna give you 70 ideas in this video. So if you'd like to see that, stick around. Okay, so as soon as I saw those pages, I knew I had to do a video on this because I knew people would be confused over how to use them, and I was too. And I wanted to make sure that I chose the very best ideas for me um, to make my year more functional and fun, and I will tell you about what I chose for them at the end of this video, but first I'm gonna go through 70 ways you can use them in your planner. So, I broke it out into categories. I have a home, family, health, social media, work, memories, and miscellaneous. So let's get started. I thought I'd just talk this one out with you guys because I can't really show you by writing out each one. It's just too much, like I'd have to copy a billion pages and write them all out, so no thank you. <laughs> okay, so there are several ways you can use these pages that are super obvious, that don't even fit into any category, like birthdays and anniversaries, vacation schedule, and events, activities, doctor appointments, that kind of thing. You can certainly do that, but if you wanna get creative in your planner and do some fun things, or maybe track some things that really would be helpful in your life, then I'm gonna give you other ideas. So the first section I'm gonna talk about is home. Everybody needs home trackers in their planner, and I have some ideas for this. So you could put a house cleaning schedule down. Each day you could write in like something that you don't clean very often, like say on top of your refrigerator or um, the blinds or the windows or something like that. And every day you could have one little thing. You can use it for remembering the last time you did things like change the refrigerator filter, mow the lawn, um, change the air filter for the furnace, uh, like change your toothbrush, that kind of thing. And then you'll always be able to look back on that and know when the last time you did that was. And I think it's really helpful because I never remember that kind of stuff and that would be a good way to track it in your planner. Um, of course, you can use it for meal planning. Every day you can plan out the meals for your week, for your, you can even plan out the meals for your whole year if you wanted to. I mean, that's a little, that's a little obsessive, but <laughs> If you're a busy person and you want to not think about meals all year, put one in every single day, right? Um, you can also track new recipes to try. You can use it for a pet tracker for vet visits, walks, symptoms that they might have if they have health, health problems, grooming, cage cleaning, litter box cleaning, baths, nail trims, all that kind of stuff. You can track it on the sheets as a pet tracker. And another home idea is decluttering and organizing. So if you have a goal to get your house organized for the year or get rid of some clutter, then you can put a little section each day to work on and or a room and then just like put an arrow down. If you wanna work on it the whole week, you can shade it out or, or use washi tape to mark out a section or you can just do one little task a day, like the junk drawer or something like that. Okay, that's the home. Now I'm gonna talk about family. You can use it for a school schedule for your kids. This would have been super helpful when my kids were little. Uh, you know, you can put in all the days they have off during the year, you can put in special parent nights, things like that. You can use it, if you are in school, you can use it for your study schedule or your, um, your assignment schedule or due dates, things like that for school. Or you can use it for your kids' due dates, your kids' assignments, your kids' studying. Um, let's see, you can use it for books to read to your children. You can write in a book every single day that you want to read, or you can write in a book that you read to your child every day, and then you can look at it over the year 
and see what you've done. And it would make you proud that you read to your child every day. You can use it for child development, like marking first steps, um, first time eating solid foods, milestones, like crawling, that kind of thing. It would be good for babies like that. You can use it for homeschooling. So if you are someone who homeschools your kids, you can use it for lesson plans, things like that. You can use it, I like this idea, you can use it for one fun thing to do with your kids every day. So if you feel guilty, like you're not around enough, or you just can't think of fun ideas, this would be an opportunity for you to plan stuff out so that you can just look at it and be like, oh, today we're gonna like, I don't know, Put, take out the sprinkler or today we're going to go to the library that kind of thing um, that way you can make sure that you're planning out fun stuff for your kids to do all year and not just sitting around you know on electronics or whatever that's very easy to do you can use it for your kids sports and activity schedules um, I know that I could have used that when I had four kids in Little League at one time yes four <laughs> That was a bit crazy and I didn't use a paper planner back then and I don't know how I did it. I think I used a dry erase board, but it wasn't very functional. So that would have been really helpful. The next section is budget, which I don't think I said before, but you can use it to track all sorts of different things financially in your planner. You can track when bills are due every month. You can track your daily spending, how much you spend each day on little stuff. You can track no spend days, so you can mark it down every time you have a no spend day and, you know, be proud of yourself. It's hard for me to have a no spend day, I will tell you that much. Although some days I just don't go outside. If I don't go outside, I'm not, well, that's not true. I might be spending online. But <laughs> most of the time, if I don't go outside, I'm not usually spending too much money. Um, anyway, you can use it for subscription renewal dates, like when things come up like yearly or like quarterly payments, that type of thing. You can use it to track the amount paid towards your loans or your credit cards or for a savings or investment tracker. Um, that would be really, really helpful to see how much money is going into savings or investments or how your investments are doing. Okay, so the next category is social media. I know not everybody has to, t to track social media, but if you're somebody like me who, you know, is in like social media and doing stuff for your job or just in general, you might want to use this for some of it. The, a cool thing to track would be the number of followers you have on Instagram or the number of subscribers you have on YouTube. I think that would be actually really cool to look back on and see the patterns of how much it increased at certain times of the year. I've been wanting to track that and I just have not gotten around to doing that. I'll write it in every once in a while. I'll write if I like hit a big number, I'll write it in my planner, but I haven't really sat down and, and done that. So that would be good. You can use it for your Instagram post schedule, like the different things you're gonna post on different days. You can also use it for a YouTube schedule. For each day, you can write what video you're gonna be posting on that particular day. Okay, the next thing that this would be useful for is tracking things health-related. So if you have a chronic illness or if you're somebody who has a lot of just stomach issues or things like that, it would be really good to track your symptoms on here so that you know kind of what's going on when. It would be good to track daily steps. If you're somebody that keeps track of how many steps a day, that would be really useful. You could track the number of calories you consume or Weight Watchers points if you're on Weight Watchers. You can uh, use it to track fitness, like the number of miles you ran or what you did each day, like if you did cardio that day or if you did certain strength training or something like that, like just to track each day what you did for your fitness. You can use it as a weight tracker um, just to see how your weight fluctuates throughout the year or if you're trying to lose weight, it would be good to be able to just see when you plateau, things like that. You can use it if you have allergies to track that type of thing. You can use it for the number of hours you slept. I don't know about you, but it is kind of helpful for me to see how much I sleep because sometimes I just don't sleep enough. 
and I don't really know it until I start counting the number of hours. And I'm like, I only got six hours for the past week. That is not enough. So I think it'd be cool to just track um, how many hours you slept. And some of these things can be uh, put on one line together. And I'll talk about that at the end, but you can kind of track multiple things at once and there are different ways you can do that, but I'll talk about that later. But something like that, hours slept, that's only a number and then you have the whole line left. So you could do, you know, separate it out. Number of like, you could even do, if you're really into health and fitness, you could even do like how many hours you slept, how many calories you um, consumed that day and then your weight. Like you could do that all in one line because there's enough room, at least in the big there is. I'm looking at the big one right now. Probably in the classic too, if you write small. Okay, you can track medical visits on here. If you're somebody who, like I said, who has a chronic illness and you have a lot of doctor appointments going on, you can track those. You could keep track of your prescription medications and what you're taking when. Um, you can also keep track of vitamins and supplements if you're somebody who takes a lot of those and has like different days of the week you have to take certain things. You could kind of just look on there and check out what you have to take for that day. Okay, it would be really good to do that to use it for uh, self care activities like, um, I don't know, like just when you used a face mask or like when you had a bath or you know stuff like that. That's kind of like pampering yourself. You could like put each you could put an activity on each day and kind of follow that just so you remember to take care of yourself. You could use it as a period tracker. So you know, you know, I mean, that's obviously important to track so you can see your patterns and also, you know, when it's coming up. So <laughs> there's that too. And that's another thing you could just track with like a little check mark or something. And then you have the whole line to track something else. If you are trying to get pregnant or trying not to get pregnant, <laughs> you can use it for a fertility tracker. Um, I think that would be super useful if you were, if you were doing that. You could use it to track your moods. You could write like one word on how you're feeling that day, like happy or bummed out or sad or angry or anything. Like you can kind of look back on it and again, see the patterns. I think a lot of this it is kind of useful data to help you figure stuff out in your life. Um, and, and by combining a couple of things, like say weather and mood maybe, or something like that, it might help you. And last in the health category is water intake. Super important. I need to do that. I really need to do that. Yes, I really, really need to do that. I'm dehydrated a lot of the time. You know why? Cause I drink a lot of coffee, as you know, and iced coffee and alcohol. I mean, not a lot, but you know, if I'm, if I wake up, I have some coffee and then I might have an iced tea at lunch. And then, uh, after dinner, I might have a glass of wine. Like, you know what I mean? A lot of dehydration going on there. So that's one of my goals this year. Okay. Next category is work. You can track your work hours if your schedule changes a lot and you need to keep track of it for say a timesheet or something like that. You can track the miles you drive for work because that's obviously important. You're gonna to have to claim those miles if you're somebody who can. You can track business expenses on there and how much you spend each day for your business. You can track daily earnings. So if you're somebody who gets tips or something like that, like you can track that. Like if you're a waitress or, or if you're like an Uber driver or something, um, somebody who gets like a certain amount of money per day uh, and it switches all the time, that would be really good to be able to see that on a big, a big list like that. And if you own a business, you can track your business profits or your number of sales. Like say you have an Etsy shop or something, you can track the number of sales for your shop each day, which I think would be helpful. All right, next category is memories. So you could track funny things your kids say. I wish I had done this. Man, my kids said some funny, funny, funny stuff when they were growing up. And I really wish, 
like I wrote some of it down, but it would be really cool to just have like one thing that your kids said each day so you can look back on it and be like, remember that? I think it'd be fun. Uh, you could track one memory for each day. So just one line, one sentence of something that happened that day, something you did, something funny, something sad, anything. So that when you look back upon your year, you can kind of see, you know, what happened during that year. And, and it's like a little journal. I like that idea a lot. You can put one happy moment of the day on each day, just something that made you happy that day. And it's like a gratitude journal. And I think that's super important. You know, I think that's important. And um, that would be like really good to just have to look at when you're just feeling down. You can track an accomplishment or of the win of the day, right? I talked about this before in my monthly ideas video, but you definitely need um, to kind of keep track of things that you accomplish because then when you're feeling like really unproductive or you're feeling like you just can't do anything, I can never get it right, you can look at that and be like, you know what? It was a bad day and I felt bad, and but at least I got that thing done. You know what? I called the eye doctor. I went to the DMV. <laughs> like for me, those are wins, right? <laughs> because a lot of the time I procrastinate. So if I see that I did that, you know, it, another reason to do that is then it forces you to actually do something to put in your planner that day. Because if you don't do it, you're not gonna have anything to write and then you'd feel bad, right? So that's just a little push. Okay, so you can, if you're somebody who's really interested in current events or headlines, you can track that. And this one's really fun that I would love to do. I don't know if I'm gonna do it, but text of the day. So I'm somebody who likes to text a lot and I think like some days there's really funny texts that come to me or texts that I send to other people. I think it'd be really funny to write out a, one like sentence of a text every day um, just to kind of, I don't know, just because some of it would be funny. Some of it you might not remember what it meant, but also it's kind of a little like a journal too. So I don't know. I thought that would be really kind of cool. Okay, so we are finally on to the miscellaneous section. I didn't know where to put all these. So the first one is really fun. You can track fun national holidays. So when you need to do a planner spread, sometimes like I like to make spreads around the fun national holidays like National Pretzel Day or National Donut Day or whatever. And that way it's in my planner. I can just turn to that page. I don't have to look it up or anything like that. And it'll kind of be, it'll kind of prompt me to remember to use those in my planner too. Cause sometimes I forget, like I really wanted to do a coffee spread for National Coffee Day and guess what? I missed it. So I did one last year, I forgot this year. So that would make me not forget to use them. You could use it for daily quote. If you're somebody who really likes quote of the day or something like that to, to inspire you, motivate you, you can put a quote in there. You can use it for gratitude. Obviously that's something I like and you can write down one thing you're grateful for every day. You can use it for your goals. So if you have some major goals, you can break those goals down into tiny steps, which is what you need to do with goals anyway, you guys. Don't try to take it all on at once. Break it out into little steps. Put the goal in your planner and then just one thing each day that you need to do towards that goal. That way it's manageable, it's easy to read. I think that's a really good idea. You can use it for lettering practice. So if you're somebody who really is trying to learn different lettering styles or brush lettering or anything like that, you can write one word each day. You could write the same word or you can write different words, but it's just forcing you to practice lettering each day. Obviously you can use it for habit tracking. You can use, track any kind of habits, right? You can use it to strengthen a good habit or develop a good habit or to stop a bad habit and you can write in each day what whether you did it or not or whatever it's really really easy you can also use like a little icon sticker just on the day and then you have the rest of the line for something else 
Um, you can track multiple habits with different color icon stickers. That's a thought too. You can use it for writing down what you learned today. So there are so many things I wanna learn and probably so many things you wanna learn. So you can track it in your planner. You can just write one thing you learned that day, you know, just anything, anything about life, anything at all. I think that would be cool. You can use it for a reading tracker if you are somebody who likes to read a lot. Um, and then you could track the books you're reading. You could write the book on one line and then you could draw an arrow down to the number of days that it takes to read the book or you can use washi tape to track that or whatever. But um, I think that'd be fun to track the number of books you read that year, that kind of thing. You can use it for digital detox. So if you want to take a break from social media or just being on your phone in general, uh, it would be good to track it in your planner. You can use it for random acts of kindness, one random act of kindness every day, you know, like leave somebody a big tip or compliment somebody or pay for somebody behind you in line or I don't know, call a friend. Like there's so many different random acts of kindness and so many web pages devoted to that that you could fill up, you know, your whole year with different random acts of kindness or you can repeat them. But I think that would be actually a really good and rewarding thing to do. So if you like to watch a lot of TV, you can track your TV shows on these pages. You can um, track when your shows start. You can track what you're binge watching, how many episodes you ha I mean, have left or how many series or seasons you have left, that kind of thing. You can also use it to track music. You can write a song of the day that you're loving every day so that you go back through and you have a list of all your favorite songs. I think that would be cool. If you are somebody who is religious, you can use it for Bible verses or prayers. You can track one priority of the day. So if you are somebody who has a hard time getting things done, pick one thing every day and write it down on that line. And then you look at it every day and be like, okay, this is, if I don't do anything else today, if I don't use my to-do list that's on my weekly pages, I have to get that one thing that's on this line done. It doesn't matter what it is, how big, how small. If you write it down on that line, you get it done. And soon enough, you're gonna like, it's, it will accumulate and you will be back on track. Uh, let's see. You can do a word of the day. If you're somebody who likes to learn definitions of new words, you can write one every single day. You can track the weather, which, you know, like I said, can go along with mood, but it'd be kind of fun to track the weather and see like how, if you're where I live, like how freaking gloomy it is every day. Or if you're like in sunny California, how many days in a row are like beautiful and amazing? Can you tell I'm a little, I'm a little bitter about the weather right now. It's raining today, so that's probably why. So you can track your outfit of the day. Um, that goes without saying, if you're somebody who's really into fashion, or maybe you're somebody who's like worried that you're wearing the same thing all the time, I don't know, but you can track what you're wearing. That'd be kind of fun. It would kind of give you like ideas for outfits to wear if you're stuck. Cause sometimes I look at my clothes and I'm like, you know, I feel like I wear the same thing all the time. Then you can look back and be like, well, if I wore those pants with that shirt, you know, that's another outfit idea. You can track time spent doing things. Like if you're worried that you're spending too much time watching TV, you can track the number of hours you watch TV in that and try to make it a little bit less every day. Or you can track the amount of time you're online or you can track the amount of time you're reading or track the amount of time you're, I don't know, doing whatever you don't wanna do. Um, you can use it as a travel journal for your vacations. If you're somebody who likes, who travels like a lot during the year, you can write down like what you did each day when you're traveling. And the last one I came up with was you can track your social schedule. If you're somebody who is kind of a recluse and doesn't get out much and you know you need to, you can kind of write down whenever you go out and meet up with friends or something so that you can look at your calendar, look at your planner and be like, 
oh, there's a lot of blank spaces there. I have not gotten together with friends in like 20 days. I got to get out of the house. And then you write it in again. So um, those are the ideas I had. There's a lot more ideas. Um, obviously, I did not cover everything, but those are all the ones I could think of. So if you have multiple ideas and you're excited about some of the ideas that I talked about and you can't decide on one, there are a couple things you can do. So one thing you can do is you can photocopy the pages. So if you photocopy the pages and then punch it with a happy planner punch, you can put in like multiple um, months. So you could like photocopy all of them and you could do two sets of them. And that way you can like, you can have more, you know what I mean? You can also color code things and highlight them with mild liners or highlighters um, so that you can put like multiple habits or multiple things on the same line. You can put, if you copy those pages, you can put them in your planner or you can put them in a separate happy notes notebook. You could have a whole notebook of these things if you wanted to, if you wanted to track a lot of different things. But if you put them into a separate book, they, that would kind of be like your book just for tracking stuff. That would be kind of cool. I'm gonna keep mine in my planner, but if you're someone who has a lot of ideas, that's one option. You can, and I mentioned this before, you can use icon stickers to mark certain things like habit tracking or work or periods or something like that, and then use the line to write something else, but I already mentioned that. Um, and you can use different color pens to track different habits or different things that you want to track. So if you wanted to do like, like if it was something that wasn't every day, say you wanted to do track like house cleaning and decluttering, you could kind of like color code it so that you didn't have to have some like house cleaning on every day. You could make like house cleaning on certain days, decluttering on certain days, and you can kind of color code it if that makes sense. Um, there's a lot of ways you can like use these pages and a lot of ideas for, for just like making it your own. I mean, I think that they're super, super useful and I'm really excited to use them. So what I decided to use them for, I had a few ideas. Um, well, the one thing I did want to do text of the day, but, um, I just don't think I have enough room and I, I don't want to like add more pages to my planner. So I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is track the fun national holidays because I think that's going to be really helpful for me when I'm planning. And the other thing I'm tracking is decluttering because that's like a really big focus for me this year. So I might copy pages. I don't know, or I might try to like kind of just fit them in on the same line, but I have to see about that. But I think those are the two things I'm using them for. So in the comments down below, let me know what you're using them for. I'd really be interested to hear and let me know if there are any ideas that I didn't have that maybe you could help other people, you know, give them some ideas. I love my community down there in the comment section. I love reading the comments. You know what else I love? I love when you guys talk to each other and like one person will comment and then another person, will, they'll start talking to each other on my page and I think that's awesome. I love that so much. And um, Patreon is starting this week. So if you haven't gotten in on that, check that out because that's more ways we can all connect and communicate with each other. So. Um, that's about it. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Stay tuned for doodle of the day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.